did Lee do? Two minutes fifty. Right, okay. That's all right. You did all right. At least you're not in the minute club or anything like that. You know, you're in the well, yeah, two minutes fifty. Two minutes club. of that was fucking about trying to get the card. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, let's crack on. Next up, we've got Marcus Barlow. Come on, Marcus. Where are you, mate? Thank you. Good evening, Comedy Store. How are you all? Are you well? Good stuff. Uh, my name is Marcus. Uh, like Mick, I'm from Oldham, which is uh, a lovely little town. It's uh, one of the few places in the Northwest where pissing through people's letterboxes is considered a sport. <laughs> I'm actually a regional champion, which is nice. Uh, I live in a pretty rough part of town, which is uh, why I was looking at doing some self-defense courses, but uh, the cheapest one I could find was a uh, a jiu-jitsu one, which was 15 quid a lesson, so obviously I thought, it's a bit steep that, so uh, I've just started carrying a knife instead, <laughs> which is uh, cheaper and, let's face it, more effective really, isn't it? But, uh, I've been uh, trying to find my, my uh, girlfriend uh, birthday present today, which is difficult at the best of times, but I've got to excel myself this year because I fucked up last time. Last year she said she wanted something that made her feel desirable, so uh, I got her a rape alarm. Which, uh, I'll be honest, wasn't the hilarious gag gift I thought it was going to be, to be honest. She just threw it at me and called me a prick. <laughs> hey, but, hey, but the joke was on her, though. The joke was on her, because the week after, she got raped. So, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, uh, I'm joking, of course. Uh, I haven't got a girlfriend. No, but you know, buying presents for people, I, I don't like buying presents, I'm not very good at it. I don't even like receiving presents off people, which sounds like I'm a bit of a miserable fucker, and I am. But like, no one ever gets you what you want, do they? Like, it's the same every Christmas, like, well, Marcus, we know you're uh, a keen reader, very fond of the works of uh, Dostoevsky and Chekhov, so that's why we've got you this chocolate fondue set. <laughs> yeah? Thanks. I look forward to using that once and sticking it in the loft. And uh, I think the worst is when you ask someone what they want and they say, oh, surprise me. Like, what sort of fucking chance have you got with that? Like, yeah, yeah, Nan, you said surprise you, so I've got you this vibrating love egg. There you go. <laughs> so, it's already got batteries in it and everything, so I fill your boots. <laughs> I've, uh... <laughs> uh, he's from Oldham. His Nan's probably only about 22. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's true is the tragic thing. <laughs> and uh, I've also been booking my holidays today, going away with, with the lads. Not really looking forward to it. It's uh, like, I, how many like, men in here have been on a sort of big boys holiday? <laughs> Three people, that's all right. Like, did, did any of you get t-shirts printed up when you went? <laughs> like matching t-shirts, we always used to. We always used to get matching t-shirts so we'd have our team name that we came up with. Something that seems really funny, but in retrospect is just shit. Like, call yourselves like the Poonani Army. <laughs> or, the, or the Poontan Clan, or something like that, you know. <laughs> Females are just fucking blown away by that shit, aren't they? <laughs> we went one year as the Get Laid Brigade. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you'll appreciate the irony. None of us got laid. <laughs> but uh, we did plenty of fingering, let me tell you. We were, we were kind of like the warm-up act before the more attractive guys came in. <laughs> well, you know, it's good. You kind of, uh, you get your T-shirts done, you go away, get sunstroke, get the shits, fall out of all your friends and then come home. Brilliant. <laughs> That's what it's like when you go on holiday with your pals, isn't it? Like, um, but I, I prefer those holidays to the ones I used to go away like, with my mum and dad because I fucking hated going away with my parents. Because they'd always try and get me to join the kids' groups. You know, like the, the children's activity groups that they have at holiday resorts so called like the, the Tiny Tigers or some fucking wank like that. And like, they're basically facilities for parents who regret having children. <laughs> and when you put your kids in them, you're basically saying, yeah, yeah, you go join the Tiny Tigers for two weeks while me and your mother enjoy our lives. <laughs> you little prick. And the people that run them are such bell ends as well, aren't they? Hey, come on, guys. Let's have a sandcastle building contest. Come on. That's, that's nice, Timothy. A little more water on that, perhaps. Ooh, that's coming along well, Marcus. You can have a special cuddle later. 
Yeah, fuck off, you prick. <laughs> and um, I'll tell you another thing as well. Is it just me, or when you go away and you go to the beach, don't really old ladies love getting their tits out? <laughs> like, sort of young girls, who you probably won't mind seeing topless, a little bit iffy. But as soon as women hit 70, oh, fuck it, why not? Marcus Barlow there. Right, uh, can we send out for a drink, Gareth, please? Yep. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, uh, let's crack on then. Uh, we got Tom James. Tom James.